good afternoon. My name uh, is uh, Mohammed Hisham Aziz Arab. Today we are going to show you our project. Uh, so first we are going to add uh, users. From here, this is our users we are created before. Then uh, we are going to add a new user from user permission. Here we are selected and uh, we add here a user. So we are going to create a new user here. First, we can add email like uh, that. Then last name and first name. And we are going to add it in full page and add more info like gender or phone or location. Then we are going to press save. We are done here. So we are going back to check it from user. Uh, this we are did it here. Then we, we can uh, set rules from here, like uh, account manager, account user, like that. Then we are going to save it. So now we can going to items and uh, add it. So this is our items we are, are created before, like plastic tables, or three, floor, holder. These selected items are bought as finished products from a supplier. Here we are a uh, international company and the professional for plastic and Peter are our suppliers. As you can see. And uh, the rest of suppliers supply raw material in our case as wood here, as you see. And the unselected items are our products that we are manufactured, like door, window, shelf, wooden table, and last wooden chair, as you can see. And now we're going to add a new item. Here we can choose a code like 11 or one, anything. And uh, here we can add the name like bed. And we can select item group like products or raw material, but we are going to choose products. Here is the opening stock. We choose the opening stock like 1000 or 2000 as we want. And here the standard selling rate we want to selling with. Then we are going to save it. Here we can edit it. And uh, here we have very important category like uh, auto reorder. In this section, we use it to reorder this item when it's nearly out of stock. So we will add a row. And we can choose all warehouses. and uh, the request for stores. 
and here our reorder level and here we are reorder quantity we want to choose it so we can choose the material request as a manufacturer then we are going to save it we are done here As you see, we are done from creating this. And now we can check the BOM, as you can see from here. You are selected our currency and uh, here our material. And we are going to add row. And we check item code. We all did it. As you can see, all, all the things are finished. And here we can choose the quantity we are wanted, like that. Then we are going to save it. So we are done here, as uh, my friend Hamad Sharif are going to continue the next steps. Thank you. And my name is Muhammad Al Sharif. And now, uh, uh, how to make uh, new customers? And so. Uh, so this is our, uh, our uh, customers. And now uh, to how to make a new customer, uh, we click on uh, add customer. Uh, we can uh, put uh, the customer name uh, here. And uh, here choose the individual. And uh, we save uh, this. And going to selling. And now we choose the sales order. And now uh, we uh, make uh, a new sales order. We click on add sales order. Now uh, we choose uh, the customer name uh, we uh, made. And uh, we put uh, the date of today. We choose the uh, stores. And uh, here we choose uh, the item code. We uh, make lower bid. And here we put uh, five uh, on quantity. And now uh, we save. Uh, and submit. And now going to my uh, friend uh, user. Uh, hi. Now I will be uh, showing you the process of accepting the order and fulfillment. fulfillment. Okay. Now we have an order with the name Omar, the name of the customer. Okay. He has orders, he has ordered five bits. Okay. So now we, first of all, 
we are going to make a manufacturing plan. We go here to the manufacturing sec section. We go to the work order, create a new work order. The item to manufacture is bed in our case. Lever. For the sales order named by owner, which is number 10. The quantity to manufacture is five beds. So we're selecting it. This is the location where the raw materials are available, which is the stores. Course, it will be the operation will be executed in the work in progress section, and the finished goods will be put in the finished goods section. Okay. This uh, is the order details, which needs obviously 20 uh, wood as a raw material. We will make it now in order to finish the book right now. Then we're going to press save and then submit. Yes. Then start the process with the required quantity, which is five beds. Let's save. Submit. Yes. Now it is submitted. Material transfer for manufacturing. Now go to the same section, back to our order. Okay. Same process right here. So we're gonna press finish, save quantity. Save, then we'll start course, save. Work in progress. It will be saved in the finished goods. Okay. Then we're going to submit. Yes. Now we are back to our sales order again. It is ready to deliver and then. So next step will be the fulfillment step where we create a new sales invoice. The customer is on. Here is the order. With amount of twelve thousand five hundred Egyptian pounds. Okay. Then we're gonna press save. Submit. Yes.
back to our folder. Next step will be the pick list. The purpose of it, of course, is delivery. Save, submit. Method. Back again, the same sales order. We have to make a delivery note to notify our customer, which is Omar, that we have finished his, his order and it's on his way, uh, on its way to him. Then submit. Yes. And now the order for Omar is fully completed. Let's check again. Selling. Sales order. Here is our order for Omar completed. The same note, the same date. Okay. Same quantity for the item bet with the item code 11. Now we have finished our project and we hope you like it. Thank you.